Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be reading The Best Seat in Second Grade by Katherine Kenna and pictures by Abby Carter. The first chapter is Hamster Helper. Sam had the best seat in second grade. He sat at the back of room 75. He did not sit near the globe, or the dinosaur models, or the paper pioneer fort. He sat beside George Washington. Here's Sam. George Washington was small and round and the color of honey, and he sneezed. George Washington was a hamster. Sam loved George Washington more than anything else at school. George Washington was Sam's favorite subject. Sam's teacher, Mr. Hopper, asked, Who knows something about lava? It pops out of volcanoes, said Sam, the way it's George Washington pops out of his nest. Someone in the front row giggled. Good answer, said Mr. Hopper. Every Monday, Mr. Hopper picked a new hamster helper. The hamster helper got to feed George Washington. The hamster helper got to make toys out of boxes and tubes. The hamster helper got to play with George Washington. Please, 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 oh please, Sam groaned. Pick me, pick me. He crossed his fingers and held his breath. Mr. Hopper reached into the bowl of names. Miguel, he said, you are our new hamster helper. Oh, boy, said Miguel. Oh, no, said Sam. It's never my turn. Sam was tired of waiting to be hamster helper. He was sure George Washington was tired of his cage. Sam wanted to show George Washington the world outside of room 75. Don't forget, Mr. Hopper reminded his class, tomorrow is our trip to the Science Museum. Bring your coats, bring your lunches, and bring your permission slips. Sam decided to bring something extra. This is Chapter 2, called Pocket Rider. The Science Museum was busy and bright and crowded. Stay in your groups, called Mr. Hopper. The animal sticker on your name tag will tell you which group you are in. Grasshoppers, stick together. Frogs, stick together. Dolphins, stick together. We don't want anyone to get lost. Sam, said Nina, where's your name tag? In my coat, Sam replied, and he reached deep into his pocket and patted George Washington. Sam looked at the sticker on his name tag. I'm a grasshopper. Good, said Nina. I am too. The grasshoppers and frogs and dolphins hung up their coats. Sam, said Ollie, it's warm in here. Why don't you take off your coat? I can't, Sam said quickly. I might catch cold. George Washington sneezed. Hurry up, called Sophie. We're going to the star show at the planetarium. Sam followed the other grasshoppers. He walked slowly and kept his hand over his pocket. See? The planetarium was round and dark. The class wiggled and waited in the rows of seats. When the first star twinkled above, Sam took George Washington out of his pocket. Make a wish, he whispered. George Washington sneezed. No one noticed George Washington. When the grasshoppers whirled through the wind tunnel, George Washington's whiskers blew backward. When the grasshoppers made faces in front of the funny mirrors, George Washington looked like a furry beach ball with huge eyes. 
No one noticed George Washington. The grasshoppers climbed through the giant shell. They peered into homes of the future. They poked and laughed at bubbles are a blast. George Washington watched and listened and sneezed. Finally, Ollie sat on the bench. I can't walk another step, he said. I'm hungry, said Nina. I'm thirsty, said Miguel. Me too, grumbled Sophie. Sam did not want to eat lunch. George Washington might smell something yummy and pop right out of his pocket. I'll catch up with you later, Sam said as he dashed down the hall. But Sam, Nita called, where are you going? Grasshoppers are supposed to stick together. This is chapter three, The Animal Zone. Sam ran upstairs and saw a sign for the animal zone. He took a deep breath and said, Wait until you see what is in here. Sam held up George Washington in front of each display. They looked at baby rabbits and baby chicks. George Washington sneezed. Don't look, Sam whispered when they reached a tank of boa constrictors. George Washington trembled. It means he shook because these snakes scared him. Now, said Sam, here is the best place of all. The hamster habitat was a jumble of tubes and tunnels. There were hamster-sized wheels and ladders and slides. Hamsters were everywhere. They were all small, they were all round, and they were all the color of honey. Look, Sam whispered to George Washington, family. Footsteps clattered down the hall as the rest of the grasshoppers rushed towards Sam. There you are, Sam, they shouted. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine, said Sam. I was just showing the hamsters to... And he stopped talking. George Washington was in his hands. George Washington was right in front of Ollie and Miguel and Sophie and Nina. Everyone noticed George Washington. Oh. Sam, cried Nina, what have you done? And before he could answer... George Washington jumped out of Sam's hands and into the hamster habitat. Oh, boy. Fourth chapter, Sam's favorite subject. Sam screamed. He did not move. Oh, no, Sophie groaned. Ollie yelled at Sam. Nina yelled at Sam. Miguel shouted, Help! Mr. Hopper returned up the stairs to the animal zone. The frogs and dolphins followed right behind him. What's wrong? called Mr. Hopper. The grasshoppers pointed to Sam. He pointed to the hamster habitat. Sam moaned. He's gone. Who? asked Mr. Hopper. George Washington, mumbled Sam. He's in there. Everybody stared at the sea of busy hamsters. There are too many of them, said the frogs. We'll never find him, said the dolphins. Well, we have to try, said the grasshoppers. Sam's whole class spread out around the sides of the hamster. Look for something small, said Ollie. And round, said Miguel. And the color of honey, said Sophie. They looked and looked at hamsters climbing and digging, at hamsters spinning and grooming, at hamsters drinking and eating and sleeping. Sam stood still and watched one nest shake and tremble like a volcano. Suddenly, 
a hamster popped out of the nest, just like lava. The hamster was small and round and the color of honey, and it sneezed. George Washington, cried Sam, and he reached down and scooped their hamster into his hands. Nina said, I knew we'd find him. George Washington is Sam's favorite subject. The next day, Sam carried George Washington's cage to the front of room 75. I think he might be safer near you, he said. Mr. Hopper smiled. Good idea. Sam walked slowly back to his seat. Class, asked Mr. Hooper, can you think of anything else we should move up front? Sam, yelled the frogs and dolphins and all of the grasshoppers. Good answer, said Mr. Hopper. George Washington sneezed. Sam grinned and pushed his desk to the front of room 75. For the rest of the year, he sat between his teacher and George Washington. Sam had the best seat in second grade. That's all for today. When we read again next time, Bye-bye.